Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. I hope you're having a beautiful morning. Yep, I've been to church this morning. It was a beautiful service. But listen, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. I will be sharing my Zone 9 garden. But what you're looking at here is my Moringa tree. Well, her name is Moringa Oliveira. And this morning, I'm going to make some tea from the leaves I harvest from her last spring. But first, I'm going to go over there and get some spearmint. Alright, guys. So I do have some spearmint here, but I think I'm going to go somewhere else in the yard. Yeah. So this is some mint growing up here. So I'm going to get at least two good sprays of this one. And this one. Alright. Let's go make some moringa tea. This is my moringa tea. Well, this is my moringa leaves. Uh, my moringa leaves that I harvest from last season. Just one bag. I have about six or seven bags. And some powder also. But I'm going to pour this in a little teapot here. And I'm going to put this mint that we did. And uh, squeeze off a little lime here. I hope you all having a beautiful morning. I am. Hmm. I'm a little tired for some reason. Usually, uh, I'm all perky and ready to roll. <laughs> He's making a mess. <laughs> yep, making a mess. Right. Let that steep for about a, three or four minutes. All right, guys. Um, it's just some lemon I had up there. Let's see, I got my moringa tea. Oh yeah. Oh man. That is so good, y'all. So good. <laughs> oh, mm. uh, in the mint I was growing and a little lime is so wonderful. Mm. All right. Let's get this day started. I think I want to plant corn today, and I also want to plant eggplants today. Uh, I think those are the two top uh, seeds I need to drop today. Let's see. <laughs> Maybe I can get both of them done. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm taking a walk. Matter of fact, I'm walking to Jody's house. Yeah. So, last night we had a great time. Yeah, Jody made some popcorn candy and it was so good. So good. And I made some tacos. But this is the Jerome tree in which I took the cutting from. Look at that. This is his home. Yeah. Look at that. Gorgeous, huh? Yeah. That's his tree. I have a supporter here by the name of 
Cold to the Max. Hey, Cold to the Max. As I promised, I wanted to share with you how I plant my sugar cane. Now, to everyone, Cole asked a question. He asked me, how do I plant sugar cane? So, I just cut a piece of sugar cane. I guess it's about six. I don't, I don't know, <laughs> but regular, regular size. <laughs> it can be longer, okay? Uh, but you want to have some nodes in it, like right here. You see that? That is where your sugar cane is going to come up from, right? So you want to make sure you have at least two or three of these in the mix, all right? And instead of planting up and down you you lay it down you lay that baby down <laughs> hey y'all it's at the end of the day <laughs> but anyway you lay it down and you just put the soil on her just like that you all done you all done your sugar cane is planted yeah now listen that small piece of sugar cane you saw there, by the end of the season, I will have between 12 and 20 stalks of sugar cane from that one piece. Remember that sugar cane spread like fire. Period. <laughs> yeah, it spreads. So, to control that, you can also plant and grow sugar cane in containers. Yeah, on your balcony, on your porch. Yeah, you could just put it in a nice container and you have some great sugar cane. Sugar cane done. Boom. All right, cold to the max. All right, I wanted to share this with you all. On Saturday night, I received a package by my front door so I'm gonna share with you all what's in it and who sent this to me yeah so this is it right here <laughs> this is from a beautiful friend of mine her name is Sarah so Sarah saw me planting um, my bulbs and she wanted to make it a little easier for me and she purchased this for me. Now check this out. You can, this is a five in one um, planting tool. And uh, let me get the little paper, one second. So this is the tool and it is a Pro Plugger 5-in-1 Lawn Tool, a Garden Tool, a Bulb Planter, a Weeder, a Sod Plugger, <laughs> Sod, S-O-D Plugger. It's an Annual Planting Soil Test. It is an amazing tool. So what I did was last night, I went on YouTube to find out how to use this baby. And yeah, it is so easy, so easy. Now, these two rings here are just um, adjusters, right? So let me just share this, cause, well, okay. So one is a, that's a four. You see, that's a four inch. And the other one is a two inch. I didn't show that. It's a two inch, right? So it all depends on how deep you want to plant your bulb or your seeds because you can plant seeds with it also. And the great thing about it is, is that you're standing up doing it, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> so if you wanted to two inch, then you would use this tool and you put the two inch on. Now I'm doing this sitting with one hand, okay? Okay, okay, so now that. Now it's at two inches, right? And if you want to plant it by four inches, then put on the four inch guy. And it'll stop at the four inch guy. And if you don't want the four other two, then you just leave both rings off and it will give you the full six inches of planting while standing 
and it is an amazing tool. And Sarah, I thank you so much, sweetheart. Um, <laughs> you always think of me, um, and I appreciate you so much. I appreciate it so much. So, uh, not today, but maybe tomorrow, um, we will use this baby, okay? And, uh, but I know how to do it, so that would be so amazing. I'm gonna plant some bulbs around the tree, so we'll use it. All right, baby. Thank you, Sarah. All right, so I'm going to plant some, um, uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to plant some eggplants. That's what I'm gonna plant. So I have two varieties of eggplants that I'm going to plant this season. I uh, see here what I have. Oh, yeah! I just <laughs> I just ate with Jada. We ate some some shrimp and grits, y'all. It was so good. So I'm gonna plant some of these shooting stars. Yeah, I'm gonna plant some shooting stars and some black beauties black beauties so i'm gonna drop those seeds in one of these containers here <laughs> yeah but also let me share this with you isn't that too cute isn't that too cute my neighbor across the street he makes these little bird houses and he made this for me he brought it to me about a week ago and Josh is supposed to put the New Orleans Gardener's name on it. My son-in-law is going to somehow put it in a tree for me. And hopefully the birds, the bird, a bird will raise a family there and not the squirrel. Hopefully the, the, the door is not big enough for a squirrel. <laughs> I hope not. All right, guys, let's drop some seeds in. All right, guys, so basically I have a little divider in here and I'll put shooting stars over here. Now I'm going to let them grow up in this container and I'm going to plant them in a little bed that I have on the other side of the garden. Yeah, now I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Now, um, uh, I do want to plant some spaghetti squash. I got to find a place for them <laughs> without taking back <laughs> some of my beds I gave away. But I think, I think I have a spot. And that is on the other side where I have just some brassicas growing. I'm gonna just plant two more seeds of the shooting star. And yeah, we're gonna have that like that. And now we're gonna plant a couple seeds of these these black beauties. So I don't, I don't want a, a lot of seeds because Basically, the only people that eat it here is me. Yeah. Let's see if I can move my knee out the frame. <laughs> Sorry, God. Oh, well. No. Let me see, can I move that? And, um, yeah, I, I, I don't want to plant too much, but, you know, I'm definitely going to give some to my neighbors um, I tell you my one of my neighbors matter of fact the neighbor that made me this little um, birdhouse his son is a chef um, here in New Orleans and he my god this kid cooks so good he cooks so good <laughs> yeah so I have eaten dinner with them before and it's amazing. He cooks really well. Really well. 
he went to one of the culinary schools here and he also worked at this place that I have frequent I have sung there many times as a matter of fact they they never allowed me to pay they say if you see you can eat whatever you want to eat for free <laughs> so Y'all know I was singing up a storm in there. <laughs> but this place is uh, it's called Cafe Reconcile. So uh, it is a wonderful place. It takes troubled teenagers who are interested in the culinaries and just mentor them. Um, and they also mentor them... Um, in a way, in a spiritual way also, let me say that. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But anyway, guys, I've had a wonderful, wonderful day. It's been just absolutely gorgeous day. I've hung out with, uh, of course, I went to church early this morning, but most of my time has been spent with with my grandbaby Jada yeah Jada and I did some work here and I love it but anyway I hope and pray you all have a beautiful day yeah look at those um uh Chinese pink they're really getting big and they're in the bed uh, and they are getting big and beautiful absolutely <laughs> You all have a wonderful day. Later, y'all.